Hello friends. In this video lecture, we are going to draw a flowchart to check the given number is a palindrome or not. So what is a palindrome? What is a palindrome in a number? For example, if you take 1, 2, 1. If you read it from the left to right, 1 to 1. And if you read it from the right to left, the number is the same. That is the palindrome. To check that given number is a palindrome or not, we are going to draw a flowchart. So this is the logical start of the flowchart. Flowchart. Now we are going to obtain a number input n. input input n now I am going to initialize some variables I am storing the value of n in a variable t comma, I am initializing a variable r equal to 0, I am initializing another variable reverse equal to 0, ok. Now, I am checking ok, if if n not n not equal to 0 ok if yes if it is yes means n not equal to 0 yes means here ok or the variable or which is equal to n modulo 10 ok the variable reverse equal to reverse multiplied by 10 plus r ok next step we are having n equal to n by 10 this is an integer division this is an integer division okay. next I am connecting the flow back to the decimal symbol so n not equal to 0 n not equal to 0 false means n equal to 0 in the false side the false side, yes, this is no, okay, no side. I am having a another addition symbol which checks if if t equal to reverse. So what is the t? T is the the value of the n, the old value of the n and reverse this is a formula for the reverse and if t equal to n I am printing if it is true means or yes if it is yes means what I am going I am printing printing ok n the number n is palindrome okay n is palindrome when when the value of t equal to reverse if it is no means if it is no means i am printing if it 
is no. No means I'm printing N is not a filing row. N is not a filing row. Now this is the logical end of the flowchart. This is the logical end of the flowchart. So this is the flowchart. Now we will check how it works. I am taking a number 1 to 1. Okay. So this is the input t equal to n. So the value of t which is equal to 1 to 1. I am checking reverse equal to 0 or equal to 0. I am checking n not equal to 0. 1 to 1 not equal to 0. Now r equal to n marlow 10. Now the value of r equal to n marlow 10. That means 1 21 marlo 10 equal to 1. The remainder 1. Okay, n equal to okay. So now r reverse. Reverse equal to okay. Existing value of reverse is 0. 0 into 10. 0 into 10 plus 1, which is equal to 1. Okay, reverse equal to 1. n equal to n by 10. Okay, now the value of n by 10 is an integer division. Only value of n equal to 121. Now n equal to 12. Okay, it will check 12 not equal to 0. That means 12 not equal to 0 is true. Now r equal to r equal to n modulo 10 12 modulo 10 which is 2 reverse equal to okay existing value of reverse equal to 1 1 into 10 plus 2 equal to 12 n equal to n by 10 n equal to n by 10. Now n is become 1. 1 not equal to 0. 1 not equal to 0 is true. Now r equal to r equal to 1 modulo 10 which is equal to 1. Reverse equal to equal to existing value of reverse is 12 12 okay into 10 plus 1 which is equal to 121 12 into 10 120 plus 1 equal to 121 n equal to n by 10 so integer division n equal to 0 now n not equal to 0 false so n not equal to 0 is false it will check t what is the value of t value of t equal to 121 t equal to reverse what is the value of reverse reverse equal to 121 so t equal to reverse will print n is filing row it will print 121 is filing row So if you give some other number 123 is given, it will be 321. So it is, will not be a filing row. So this is the logic. We have drawn the flow chart to check the given number is a filing row or not. And we have traced and find the result. The flow chart is working correctly. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please 
subscribe to my channel share comment and press the bell button thank you